Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today we're looking at the top 10 places Germany could have invaded in World War II, but didn't. Just before we get started, I will say that this is a collaboration with HistoryAndHeadlines.com. If you're interested in more stuff just like this, please do head over to HistoryAndHeadlines.com to check it out. So, on June the 25th, 1940, France surrendered to the military might of Germany after being crushed in the Blitzkrieg. Almost immediately, Adolf Hitler and his gang of thugs began planning their next attack that respected no treaty no borders, and no decency, the proposed invasion of neutral Switzerland. The Germans, though, they never invaded Switzerland during World War II, as they did not invade several other notable places they certainly considered invading, or would have greatly benefited from invading. Here in this video, we're going to look at 10 of these places. Number 10. Switzerland a country made up of German, French, and Italian sections, Hitler plans to split the country with his evil cohort Mussolini from Italy. As the war progressed and Germany's troubles grew, the invasion of Switzerland, well, it never came. Number 9. Great Britain The islands of Great Britain were certainly on Hitler's hit list, and his Operation Sea Lion was planned to invade the land of tea and crumpets. But first, the Germans needed to defeat the Royal Air Force, because air superiority was an absolute essential element of a successful invasion of the islands. The Luftwaffe, though, they could not defeat the RAF, and the chance to invade and defeat the British went up in smoke as the fortunes of Germany disintegrated on the Eastern Front. Nevertheless, the 2017 British drama series SSGB, produced for the BBC, is set in a 1941 alternative timeline in which the United Kingdom lost the Battle of Britain and is occupied by Nazi Germany. Number 8. Malta a relatively small island in the Mediterranean Sea, only 122 square miles and the size of a medium or large American city, Malta lies between Sicily and Tunisia, a wonderful blocking position from which to intercept supplies and troops being sent to North Africa from Italy or occupied France. From 1940 to 1942, the Germans and Italians staged over 3,000 bombing raids of the island and did their very best to prevent ships from reaching the beleaguered people there. Despite these mighty efforts, the people of Malta and the Allied garrison managed to resist their attacks and maintain their air and sea facilities, never crumbling to the point where the Germans could successfully invade. Number 7. Gibraltar The very name of this place is synonymous with a fortified stronghold like Fort Knox, and its position guarding the entrance and exit to the Mediterranean Sea at the southern tip of the Iberian Peninsula makes it militarily vital. Like Malta, Gibraltar survived many German and Italian attacks that could not defeat or neutralize the strategic position and its aircraft and naval artillery based there. Hitler would have dearly loved Spain to allow him to invade from the Spanish mainland, but dictator Francisco Franco desperately wanted to keep Spain out of World War II after suffering such carnage in the Spanish Civil War just a few years before. Number 6. Spain and Portugal Although Spain owed a great debt to Hitler's Germany for helping the fascists during the Spanish Civil War, Franco declared his country neutral, and neutral it stayed, although in spirit the Spanish were sympathetic to Germany. If Hitler had been able to convince Spain to ally with Germany, or if Germany could have seized port facilities on either the Atlantic or Mediterranean coasts of Spain, Germany would have enjoyed much greater flexibility in basing and resupplying its U-boats and conducting aerial patrols of sea lanes. Although Hitler may have invaded Ukraine instead of Spain, considering the Ukraine the more important target at the time, especially as an avenue to the oil fields of the Caucasus. Number 5. Ireland the Irish were, and still are, not particularly enamoured of the English, and bitterly resented the occupation of Northern Ireland by the UK. Despite sympathetic feelings towards Germany, the enemy of my enemy must be my friends, the Irish were unwilling to commit to total war against their long-term nemesis, England. Hitler considered invading Ireland or Northern Ireland with the help of the Irish Republican Army, but his plans never became viable because of his failure to defeat the RAF. Interestingly, the United Kingdom also considered Operation Green, which was an invasion of Ireland. Number 4. Sweden Germany invaded and conquered the Scandinavian countries of Norway and Denmark, so why not Sweden? They could have and would have if they needed to, but Sweden was ill-prepared for war with Germany and instead acquiesced to all German demands, acting as a staunch trade partner and supplying tons of vital iron ore. If the Russians had invaded Sweden, it is likely the Germans would have also invaded as a preemptive measure to avoid losing vital resources. Number 3. Turkey 
Despite being allied with Germany during World War I, Turkey was intent on staying neutral during World War II. Germany and the Allies both courted Turkey as a possible ally, and Germany came close to forcing Turkey to allow German troops to pass through Turkish territory on the way to Iraq. A German-Turkish non-aggression pact was reached, but when the same sort of pact was violated by Germany with the attack on the Soviet Union, a foray into Iraq became a pipe dream for Hitler. If Germany had a harder time conquering the Balkans, Turkey would have either been invaded, at least the European part, or had its territory violated by passing German forces. To learn more about this particular entry, we actually recommend British historian John Keegan's essay, How Hitler Could Have Won the War. Number 2. Iceland Iceland is strategically positioned to intercept shipping from North America to Northern Europe, especially to Scandinavia and Russia. Both the Allies and the Germans lusted after the potential to base airplanes and ships at this strategic island, but Iceland remained neutral in spite of strong lobbying efforts by both sides. Britain had imposed trade restrictions on Iceland to prevent free trade with Germany, and on May 10, 1940, Operation Fork went into effect. This was the British invasion and occupation of Iceland, preempting the Germans from doing so first. To illustrate how easy the conquest was, nobody was killed on either side except for one British suicide en route. In response, the Germans drafted Operatio Icarus, their own plan for invading Iceland, but in 1941, the United States sent the Marines to Iceland to occupy the island and deny it Germany. The the US later added army and army air force to the occupation, as well as naval facilities and garrison, amounting to about 30,000 Americans at one time. Number 1. The United States Hitler had the long-term goal of someday isolating the United States as the sole industrialized democracy left after Germany, Italy, and Japan had carved up the rest of the world. Once the US was on its own, Germany would somehow find a way to invade and conquer the last bastion of freedom. Meanwhile, Hitler planned to attack the US in other ways, with agents dropped off by submarine, by long-range missiles possibly fired from ships, subs, or aircraft, and perhaps even by nuclear bombs, poison gas, or radiological dirty bombs. Hitler Hitler dreamed of his America bomber that could fly all the way to New York and Washington DC to bomb the eastern cities of the United States and then return safely to Europe, but his engineers never achieved this goal. The US, meanwhile, worked on the B-36 bomber for the same role. Luckily, Adolf Hitler and his henchmen never came close to attacking the US mainland in any meaningful way other than sporadic submarine raids. And interestingly, the 2008 video game Turning Point Fall of Liberty has a storyline in which the Greater German Reich invades and occupies the east coast of the United States in 1953. More recently, the Amazon series The Man in the High Castle presents an alternate version of 1962 America where the Axis powers won World War II and subdivided the United States into two powers, the Greater Nazi Reich and the Japanese Pacific States. This series, as with SSGB, are each based on earlier novels. And now for a bonus entry. One place the Nazis did sort of invade was actually Antarctica. A German expedition of 1938 to 1939 explored the frozen continent and laid claim to a territory they called New Swabia. Although a relatively minor event historically, it does represent the southernmost reach of Nazi Germany's ambitions and has served as a source of fascination for conspiracy theorists. For more information on that, I'd recommend a video by All Time Conspiracies, which you can find linked to in the description below. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do leave a like below and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also, for more content just like this, do remember to check out historyandheadlines.com. You'll find a link to that in the description below as well. And as always, thank you for watching.